and today we are going to take a look on how we can schedule a automatic backup from our Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer to an external hard drive or SSD everything automatically without headaches we just set up once and then it will do everything automatically the day and hour that we want all for free so that being said let's go straight for it and if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below and here we are on our desktop we already have Azure Store backup plan installed which is completely free and if you haven't installed already let me show you how we can do we just need to go to our browser search for Azure Store backup plan and then the first page we will just click it we will have access to the desktop apps in this particular moment we just want the Azure Store backup plan so let's learn more about this and then backup plan for Windows and download. Just install normally as you would with any other software. And that is it. We are ready to start using it completely free. Now, I'll be using the Sabrent Rocket Nano, which is an overkill for this project. We are talking about 3000 megabytes per second reads and writes over Thunderbolt, which is impressive. But you can use any SSD or any external hard drive. Even if you want to use a USB pen drive, you can do so depending on the amount of storage that you need for your backups. This is great for video editing. And if you want to fast transfer uh, files from one device to another, this is just really, really cool. I will try to leave a link down below as well. Now, regarding the backup, let's go and create. Now, we already seen the Asus Store backup on one of the last videos. I will leave the link down below just in case you want to backup your computer to an Azure over Wi-Fi or Ethernet without any cables, without nothing, then this is just great. But if you want to put it on an SSD or external hard drive, let's select local PC. Now, let's give it a name and I'm going to call it Music and I will explain in just a few moments why. Let's press Next and we have three options backup only once we will do the backup and that is it we also have the synchronization option which is great i use synchronization myself with other software that i did purchase a few years ago and works great but this is store backup plan for free does exactly the same thing now the only note that i would share with you is this is great but it has one question, which is I will do a synchronization and it will replicate everything that I have on the folders that I selected right over here on the SSD and also on the folders of my computer. And this is great if I want to take my external SSD anywhere and I will create a few new documents. I will write new lines on my existing documents. And once I arrive home, it will replicate and synchronize everything that I've got right over here to my computer. So I will have everything really organized without having to worry if this is the latest version of the document because it will be the latest version. Now, the downside of this is that when I delete files right over here, once I connect to my computer, it will also synchronize and delete the files on the computer. So it will be an exact replica. And this means that if one, two weeks later, I need one of those files that I did delete, it will no longer be there. So it's a synchronization job, which is awesome, but just that's not. Now, today we are going to do a schedule automatic backup. So let's select this one. And then we have the option to do it once, which no, daily, weekly, monthly, or on program startup. So let's select weekly and let's select, for example, Tuesdays and Saturdays. And it can be at midnight. And if the file already exists, skip if not modified is my personal choice. Now we can also select overwrite and this means that it will take longer and it will copy even files that were not modified, which will be a waste of time and a waste of resources of our computer. And if it's a really long backup, then it will take a lot. Skip if not modified, the Asus Store backup plan will check the file. If it wasn't modified, just leave it as it is. When it finds new versions of files, then it will copy those and do an incremental backup. Now, uh, next, we also have the option to, after plan completes, 
what to do. Do we want to shut it down? No, let's leave it as it is. I can press next and right now I can select what files or folders I want to backup. Now there is one which if I select this one, Windows C, it will backup everything that I've got on my computer. Now have in mind the note right over here. Asus Store Backup Plan is not intended for and does not support the backing up of system files that are in use. So we have seen some solutions that we can clone our system to an external SSD and then boot on other computers. That is great. I will try to leave some links down below. But this here, Asus Store Backup Plan, is not meant for that. It's just for backup. So I can create a backup of all my system, all the folders and files, but it will not copy those necessary files that we will need for boot. Now, in this particular case, let's do something more simple. Now, I'm going to select Music Folder. Why? Because if I select the videos folder while I'm using OBS recording the screen right now, it will affect my videos. So what we are going to do is if I go to music, I've got a folder here with five video files, which were the review that we did on the latest Nash from Asus Store. I will leave the link down below and we are going to back up this folder. So I'm going to select. And of course, if we want to select multiple folders, we can do so. Just press next and right now it will ask us where do we want to save our backup. Now in my particular case I want to save it on the external SSD, save it, so I will select C, the D drive and I will open this. It will show me two folders which are structural folders but I want to create a new folder. So if we go to the save it, we can see that it's empty but when I say create and let's select music and folder just as an example Let's press ok it will create as we can see right over here music folder which was exactly what we created now highlighted music folder i'm going to press finish and that is it we have the plan name which is music and is scheduled for uh, 3rd of august at midnight for the first backup but I want to do the first backup with you right over here and you can do as well once you have set up yours. By the way, you can create multiple uh, backups and with different timings, with different days, different folders and whatnot, and you will have all of them right over here. So if I want to create one right now, all I need to do is to press the backup button. So let's press it. And as we could see really, really fast, because we only have five files to back it up. Now, if I go to the external SSD, it will show me the music folder. And there is only one downside, which is the folder structure that Asus Store Backup Plan uses is that it will copy all of the structure. As we could see, music folder, Asus Store, desktop, and then drive C, users, and one, which is the name of the computer, and finally the folder that we selected, which is music. So it is okay, nothing to worry, because everything will be right over here. So let's press, and we have the five files that we have selected inside the folder that we selected. So we have an exact backup of what we have right over here. Now you might say, hey Robert, but we could just copy and paste on the SSD. Yes, but these are just five, for example, if I have hundreds of files and folders, then the backup plan is much easier than dragging uh, files around, which we will lose track. So let's imagine right now that in my computer, I have, I don't know, something that makes these two files to be corrupted. So let's delete them. And I only have these three files. So I really need those files back, which are inside my external SSD. So what we are going to do is just plug in our SSD and I'm going to press and I'm going to leave this one right over here, the internal hard drive of my computer, which just lost the files so that we can see. And if I press restore, what will happen is that it will ask me, do you want a direct restore or do you want to select a folder or a few folders that you know exactly where those files. Now, the second option might be useful if you have a really huge backup and you know exactly which folder was uh, that you missed your files. In this particular case, we want to do the whole thing. So let's select directly restore the backup, press next, and then we have the option to put it on the original directory path, which is what we want. Or if we want, we can also create a new directory path. So let's select original, which is this one right over here. And I'm going to press finish. 
and bam there we go it did put in the new files that were missing so as quick as this now let's just imagine that your backup is a lot more complex this will happen on the background without you having to know which files you lost without any issues with just one button once we have the backup scheduled or several backups and when we need if we need of course we just need to press as i did the restore button and that is it so we have one of the simplest ways of having our windows 10 or windows 11 computer backed up free for an external SSD. Now the Acer Store, as we have seen before, it's capable of creating backups to a Acer Store NAS, also the local PC that, that we did right over here, FTP or others. So just explore the software. It's just, just awesome and free. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.